Okay, so let's say we've got any old two points, A and B, in three-dimensional space. How do I get from A to B? Okay, how, if I'm just given two coordinates, what is the vector that will get me from A to B? Now, we saw a simple example um, when we were looking at direction vectors, but we want to do this in, more, in a more general case. So... If I know the coordinates of A and B, so let's say that this is 1, 2, 3, and this is uh, 5, 7, uh, minus 1, okay? If I know the two coordinates, then what I do know is I know the position vector that will get me from O to A and from O to B, okay? So from O to A, the position vector is equal to 1, 2, 3. So that's OA. And I can also write down the position vector that gets me from O to B. So O to B is equal to 5, 7, minus 1. OK, so I can get from O to A, I can get from O to B, and then, if we return to our original, uh, our starting video in this topic of how we can get from one point to another using our vector knowledge, if I'm going to be travelling from A to B, what I could do is I could travel from A to O and then from O to B. The only problem is that in order to get go along A to O, I'm actually going backwards on myself. I'm going back on myself, and so if, um, if that is OA, then going back on myself is minus OA, okay? So I could write this as minus OA plus, so that gets me to the origin, plus OB. So if I rewrite that, round the, the other way, AB is equal to OB minus OA. So in other words, A to B is B minus A. Okay? So you might see this written down. A to B, B minus A. Okay? So you do uh, the coordinates of B effectively of effectively the position vector of B, take away the position vector of A. So for our case, we have OB, which is 5, 7, minus 1, take away OA, which is 1, 2, 3, and so we get 5 take away 1 is 4, 7 take away 2 is 5, minus 1 take away 3 is minus 4. Okay, that is the vector... A to B. And that's how we can do this in general.